Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's daily TA and we're going through all the time frames on the Bitcoin price, let's first have a look on the CME chart and later on also on the stock market because on the CMEs we didn't create a future gap so we have no new future gap here. Yesterday as soon as the CME started again we pumped immediately again towards $9,100 and currently we are topping out here at the 200 moving average in the one hour time frame. But it looks like that Bitcoin don't want to stop here and that we possibly gonna see a continuation of this uh, pump. Also because on the S&P 500 mini futures we are also seeing currently since the mini futures are trading again a nice pump here which took out also the high that we had here at 3150. So currently we are still pumping here and also the S&P mini futures created here a very nice breakout from this wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days. So I think we are currently on the way to retest this $3,230 in the S&P 500 and possibly also break it. So I am quite bullish now in the stock market. This move here since the breakout from $3,100 was very bullish and I'm expecting that Bitcoin most likely is going to follow it. So it is possible that Bitcoin is just lagging behind the S&P 500 and that very soon we're going to see another big leg up and a possible breakout from this $9,500 resistance that we have currently based on this potential falling wedge that we are in currently. So in the next couple of hours, if the stock market is continually to push to the upside, I think that Bitcoin most likely will come down here to retest the new support at 9,150, bounce from it and then have the retest here of this 9,400 to 9,500 dollar level. So in case that you're waiting for a long position, then maybe wait here for the confirmation of this possible new support here if you think it is wise now to open up a long position. I think we could be in here for a massive move to the upside if we can confirm that now the previous resistance is the new support and also can start to build up a support above 9400 to 9500 dollar. Then it's almost guaranteed that we will go again towards 10k and possibly even break it let's see but at least we're gonna have a retest in case that we can have a new support above $9,500 but this is what we have to see here on the next move of Bitcoin because currently we are retracing again to the downside most likely we're gonna test here this $9,150 so watch out for this area here where also all the moving averages are lining up currently in the one hour to open up a possible long position and don't forget later on we're gonna do the new subscription video for our weekly $10 Bitcoin giveaway which is sponsored from a Bityard. So make sure to tune in later on the second video of today here on YouTube will be the replay of the Twitch live stream. So first we're gonna do it live on Twitch and then we put it here on YouTube. So if you want to participate to that Bitcoin giveaway you have to watch today's second video here on YouTube. Comment down below with your Bitcoin address. Not on this video on the second one that will be uploaded later today where it says subscription video. So now let's start here in the one hour time frame. We have currently RSI and Stochastic overbought. So a retracement back down to test here this 9100 to 9150 level is very likely. Also here based in the Bollinger Band we are still overshooting it to the upside. So a retracement back down here towards this level I think is very likely and this is where we should look to open up a good long position because it looks like that Bitcoin could be gearing up here for a possible $9,500 retest. We also have the MACD shifted to the upside. So here for the short term it looks like that Bitcoin is gonna push now towards this resistance up there. Also the stock market is still pushing to the upside. The CMEs don't have a new gap, nothing. So we are good to go to the upside again if we are able to build up enough momentum to the upside. And also the stocks are continually to push to the upside. So here in the four hour also you can see that the 20 and 50 moving average currently are right at the new in theory support at 9150. We have the RSI now 
very close to overbought condition but here it is possible that first we're going down to retest the 50 level so here we're trading again now above the 50 level which is bullish stochastic is coming here in overbought condition so here maybe we have to wait till we're gonna cool off here again towards oversold and then bounce again to the upside so i'm still watching here the 20 and 50 moving average in the four hour to have a possible confirmation that this is now the new support and then look for a long position to to ride it up in case that we're going up here again to test this 9000 400 dollar resistance that we have above of us and also where the 200 moving average in the four hour is lining up and if we open up the bollinger band in the four hour here also we're still overshooting it to the upside so a retracement back down here to the middle area of around 9100 dollar is very likely my opinion before we could see a continuation here to the upside macd is also shifted to the upside so also here even though we could see now a little retracement back down to test the support and have the confirmation i am now again more bullish than bearish here in the shorter time frames and if we open up here the daily time frame you can see that currently we are still getting rejected from the 20 daily moving average so with this push that we had this morning we just came again here to the 20 daily moving average as long as we are not able to close daily candles above here and start to trade here between the 50 and 20 because the 50 daily moving average is also right at our new resistance at $9,400. So as long as we are not trading here in this range here, we are in theory still shifted to the downside and the 20 daily is acting as a big resistance level. But in case that we are able to close your daily candles above 9,240 and also bring the RSI back above the 50 level, I think we could be in here for a massive uh, breakout here to the upside from this falling wedge and the retest here of this 10k level is very very likely to come. MACD is also coming up from oversold conditions also here we have a lot of room left to the upside and if we open up the Bollinger Band you can see that we came here to the second middle line here at 9240 if we are able to break this level if we are able to close a daily candle above then we are back here trading in the bullish side so here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band and in theory we could go easily towards 9600 and potentially also higher. I'm still waiting here for the MACD to cross so currently the MACD is still shifted to the downside here in the daily but you can see that we are coming very close here into a bullish cross especially if here we can break this 9240 level which I think is very likely to come today or at least this week if we are continue also to push in the stock market. And now let's also have a look on the weekly time frame because yesterday we closed the week and we had a little red candle here which is still bullish because we are still trading above the 20 and weekly moving average. RSI is also still above the 50 level so also here in the weekly we are still bullish even though we had this correction to the downside towards the 20 weekly. So this area down here is a very strong support range because we have the 20 weekly here and Bitcoin very much likes to retrace back to the 20 weekly moving average during a bull run so this is very likely that we could see here a potential bottom at least for now and start to push again here towards 10k and possibly also higher because here in the weekly we have a lot of fuel left to the upside and if we open up the Bollinger Band, you can see that we are still fighting here the first middle line. So as soon as we're going to start to trade above 9,300, the way is open to go towards $10,900 because this is also the top here of the Bollinger Band in the weekly. So if we are able to close a weekly candle above 9,300, we are again here trading on the top area and we should test and break potentially this $11,000 up here pretty soon. The only problem is that the MACD potentially having a bearish cross here if we continue to trade sideways here and don't start to create again a support in here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band. So if we're gonna start to trade here in this range here of 9200 for the next couple of days and weeks we're potentially gonna create here a bearish cross in the MACD which could indicate that we will see a major sell off here and we could potentially retrace back down towards 8k even down to 6400 where our bearish target are lining up but at the time of recording everything is still good to go and if we're able to close a weekly candle above 9300 we should be good to go to the upside and then potentially also avoid here the bearish cross on the MACD 
All right, guys. So with that said, we're going to wrap it up for now. As you can see, for the long term and for the short term, now we are back again in more bullish mode. And that's why I'm again looking to open up a potential long position, not the big one that I'm still waiting to open up at 8K and lower if we're going to drop down there. But at least for now, it looks like that Bitcoin wants to push again towards our new resistance areas of around 9400 to $9,500. So in case that you want to trade that also, then make sure to watch out as soon as we're going to complete here the retracement back here and have the confirmation that now the previous resistance here at around $9,100 is the new support. And if you want to trade that with a long or with a short, you can do that, for example, over on Bybit or Bityart. On Bybit, I recommend you very much if you want to trade with Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS or XRP. If you use the link that you find down below here in the video description, this is my sign up link. You support the channel and also you can get some sign up bonuses up to $90, depending if you put a first deposit in or if you start to trade and so on. You have to do some stuff to get the full bonuses, but definitely use my sign up link. And also for BTRT, BTRT is the exchange where you can trade directly with Tether. Here you can trade all these coins and you don't have to own them. So you can just put Tether here and start to trade with Tether also with leverage. You also find the link down below here in the video description to get some bonuses if you use my link. Here you can get up to $260 for free bonus if you trade with high volume so if you do like 20x 50x 100x leverage trades here you can get the most bony out there so if you're interested go down below here into the video description and you find all the links to sign up to those exchanges here you just need the email and that's it no kyc nothing and also make sure to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome we have a great community over there and also i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so if you want to see the live streams then make sure to join also the twitch channel later on we're gonna do the new ten dollar bitcoin giveaway over there live and then put it also here the replay on a youtube and here the youtube video will be relevant for the subscription huh? so make sure to leave the comment and your bitcoin ad address on the subscription video which is coming up later today to participate to the $10 Bitcoin giveaway which then we will select the winner at the end of the week. So thank you very much for watching guys if you like the content please leave a like subscribe to the channel tick also the little bell to get immediately the notification as soon as I upload the video and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!